Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good evening to you. Not bad for a Monday for portions across the United States. Denver nice and quiet, Albuquerque, Baltimore, Destin. Not bad in terms of temperatures as well. Pretty quiet here in the deep south. We have high pressure starting to move to the east, and you guys know what that means. Once we have high pressure to our east, that means we're going to have an onshore wind. So more moisture ahead of our next cold front. A beautiful end to our day as well. 68 degrees and we have generally clear skies. Temperatures are dropping. We have low 60s already. Still have some upper 60s near the coast tomorrow morning. Waking up to the mid 40s for most spots. We'll have clear skies. 45 degrees tomorrow morning. Baton Rouge 47 in Plaquemine and right around 45 degrees in Denham Springs. That's going to be right before sunrise tomorrow morning. High temperatures tomorrow near normal for this time of year. We should be around anywhere between 71 and about 73 degrees, so we will be near that, but a little warmer than normal, but still not going to be too bad of a day. Clouds will return tomorrow and especially Wednesday, and we will have a little bit in the way of more humidity in place, so increasing humidity thanks to that onshore wind, and we'll get a little warmer each day up until a cold front that moves in on Thursday, and that cold Cold front's going to bring a pretty significant drop in temperatures. So more on that in a minute. But for now, we're going with about a 40% chance for rain Thursday. The timing on that is something we're going to have to adjust as we get a little closer. But for now, it looks to be generally the afternoon and evening. We're mostly dry Friday. I kept the 20% chance for rain there just in case we do have some lingering clouds and a little bit of moisture in place. But then we're dry all the way through the weekend. So we have yet another nice weekend in store for us here in Baton Rouge. So let me show you on the future track what I mean. So more clouds will move in tomorrow. I do think cloud cover will be a little uh, more, I would say, widespread and a little thicker than what future track is showing us. But by Wednesday, our skies become mostly cloudy. It's going to be a bit warmer, especially in the morning. You'll notice Thursday morning going to be the warmest uh, morning and warmest day, all ahead of the cold front. So future track is showing a couple of showers earlier in the day with the cold front reaching our area sometime after lunch on Thursday. Again, it could be faster, could be slower. We'll just go with Thursday afternoon or night and then it's going to swing through here, move to our east. But again, we'll likely still have some lingering clouds into our Friday as well. So again, that's something we'll have to adjust as we get closer. But as I mentioned, it's going to bring a pretty significant drop in temperature. So Wednesday 76, Thursday 77. Few of you may even hit 80 before the front moves in 71 on Friday, maybe a little cooler. Again, we'll have to see with the clouds Saturday and Sunday highs are only in the low and mid 60s. So it is going to be quite chilly if you are going to any of the area wide football games. So keep that in mind. As for the tropics, uh, pretty quiet, I would say. We only have this one area. This is the same system that brought some pretty nasty weather along the East Coast. It will move out to see the National Hurricane Center is only giving it a 10% chance for development. Other than that, it's pretty quiet. And except for Thursday, our weather pattern will be really quiet as well. So 75 tomorrow, 76 on Wednesday. Notice our mornings are going to get warmer thanks to it being more humid. We'll have more clouds in place. So 51 when you're waking up Wednesday, 60 on Thursday, 77. That's when the cold front will sweep on through. So Friday morning will be a little cooler in the lower 50s and then 71 Friday. Again, that's all dependent if the clouds stick around, but then the weekend cool and going to be chilly at night. Low and mid 60s mornings will be in the low and mid 40s and next week the weather looks pretty quiet as well. Now it is time